Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another week. No, it's afternoon. <laughs> a very slow morning. I didn't wake up until after seven o'clock, which is very much a sleep in for me. So therefore, a very I slow. I woke up at ten. I win. Yeah, but you often wake up late. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't get for a walk with the dog because it took a while for my medication to sort of kick in. And then it's very humid because it's rained earlier. It's supposed to rain today, but it hasn't rained yet. So, but it's super humid. I'm just going to be back in front of the fan. <laughs> it's not too noisy because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very sticky. Uh, so I did um, do some washing earlier. You saw I've got that hung out. It's um, somewhere in the dryer and some hanging, but undercover because of this rain that we're supposed to have. And put another load of towels in there. Now currently in the dryer. Picked up after the dogs. I don't have done much else besides do the weekly reset with Christy, which we have done. And yeah, I've had my breakfast. And now I'm just about to unpack these two boxes from Harris Farm that came. It's pretty much fruit and veggies today. There might be something I bought for Kevin's birthday, but that's about it, I think. Uh, so I'm going to get that done and then I'll probably um, cook some lunch. So nothing major is happening today. Mondays tend to be very much like this. I've sort of taken off the cleaning part of Monday because I never seem to get to it. So I think it's best just to <laughs> have an easy Monday morning with the reset and whatnot and tidy. Oh, I did actually finish, empty the suitcases from the weekend. So that's been put away. I did do it then. I actually went and hung up the clothes that were um, not used on the weekend. Didn't get to go in the washing and <laughs> In fact, we've discovered two of Kevin's shirts that we took away are missing in conjunction with um, two of the little shorts that were under my dresses. I knew they were already missing because I'd missed them from my wardrobe. When Kevin was packing, I'm going, where's his Mickey polo shirt and his blue Hawaiian shirt? Can't find either of them. So I looked through like this stuff from the holiday and a couple of suitcases and not thinking they would be there, but no, they weren't there. So, hmm. I can replace my things easily enough, I mean it's annoying because, you know, expense, but his shirts are expensive. Tommy Bahama shirts are not cheap. So, <laughs> I have to wait, I think we can manage, <laughs> he doesn't wear them a lot like this weekend, so. Although when we go up to Charleville, he's going to need some more shirts to wear, so. I just had a look around, nothing's on sale at the moment. So I'll just kind of wait, I guess, and. So we can pick him up some things because yeah he's, he will need some extra shirts i guess for child bill now he's only got like one polo one shirt that are kind of that are nice that i like the other two are gone <laughs> uh hopefully they'll have a sale and i can pick some up obviously we go to, we could bought some in america if we know we can buy some in hawaii when we go back we can get them here in australia but they're expensive anyway let's get to these boxes oh and i've got some uh, milk to make make some overnight oats i've got a few things i want to get done but i said it's really hot and it's not very comfortable in here but i don't put the aircon on either because it's not the temperature's not that hot it's just really humid i can survive <laughs>
that's given here. I put the air conditioning on because it rained, so it's even more steamy than it was. Um, oh, I've got some flies in. All right, um, get some fly spray in a second. Uh, Chrissy's gone off to emergency. She had some, what she call me, in a half an hour, an hour ago probably, with extreme pain in the chest. So obviously, I don't know what she did before I was calling an ambulance, so I called an ambulance and they've done an ECG, which is all clear, so they don't think of anything to do with the heart with obviously being young and all the rest of it. And it says it's probably indigestion because she does suffer with that sometimes. I mean, she was in excruciating pain, she's in tears and had nausea. But unfortunately her diet is, um, rather bad thanks to her eating disorder so probably tied to that so she, anyway, she's in pain a lot of pain and we don't really know how to manage that pain for her she this, she had a similar episode three weeks ago when she was in the blue mountains and she was very close to going to the emergency then as well so who knows anyway hopefully she's gone in there and they'll i don't know i don't know what they'll do for her but anyway um that's what's happening. So Kevin, luckily they've taken it to Wollongong rather than Shilk Harbour because like one's north, one's south, but Kevin works in Wollongong. So if she happens to be coming home the time he does, that's like nice and easy. Or I can run in and pick her up. I mean, you know, when you go to emergency, you know you're going to be hours. So, but yeah, that's what's happened this afternoon here. I'm about to cut up some potatoes and get them in the air fryer so I can get myself some lunch. Oh, I'm still going to have to stand in front of the fan. But it, is so humid. I said, I'm putting the aircon on. We are giving air. Because <laughs> otherwise, I won't get anything done this afternoon. I've still got a bit of. Oh, I'm not going to get my done done this afternoon anyway. It's 2 30 now. By the time I have my lunch, I haven't been made dinner yet, but you know, we can find something in the freezer for that. Or oh, I can whip up something easy. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I was going to make a. What was I going to make? Uh, I can't remember, but I might just leave that for tomorrow night and find something easy for tonight. You know, hopefully Christy gets some relief from her pain. It's very hard seeing, you know, people that you love in a lot of, it's hard seeing anyone in pain, but particularly a child. Uh, anyway, at least she's going to the right place and they'll hopefully be able to help her. I've just been working on the weekly vlog for last week. I think I'm going to stop though now and what time is it? 4.30 actually I'm going to go work on my jigsaw puzzle for a little bit and then try and organise the push it at first oh, I'll do that first do the layout for the last little scrapbook or for the last scrapbook album that I scanned I think I've got two actually to lay out it worked, I worked out a quick way to do it, but I've, I've still got to redone, so I need to do that again. So I think I'll do it first because it's kind of needs to be done, and then if Kevin's still at home, I'll go and work on my jigsaw for a little bit. Oh, oh I really want to go do some jigsaw. <laughs> Try and get at least one of those albums done. How about that? How about that for a deal? I'll we'll do one. It has started raining, it's been raining for about an hour or so, and I did hear from Christy just shortly. I think she's had an ECG and blood test. Her white blood, white cells, the high white blood cell count. I think that was right, which indicates an infection. But they don't really think it's necessarily to do with the chest or in the chest. But she's going to have a a chest X-ray, I think, to see if they can locate it. But they said it could be anywhere in the body. They've given us the medications for reflux, so if it is for that, that should settle the pain more. If not, well then it's not that. Hopefully it works and it is just that. If that's something she can work on, or at least know that can be that severe. Uh, all right. Oh, I've, see, I've also got to read for my meds for tomorrow too. So, oh, all right. Do one scrapbook album. Do my meds. Then I have time. Jigsaw. I haven't done my overnight oats either. It's been such a crazy old day. It's 4.30. Right. <laughs> see what I end up doing. Well, I wasn't going to get much done, but <laughs> Kev, poor Kev just arrived home when Christy called to say she was ready to get picked up from the hospital. So he's been and picked her up. I did offer. So got a bit more done. 
What a piece is laid out. Yeah. Well, Mr. Withnall's been a good hubby and made us some pasta for dinner. Best hubby in the house. <laughs> yes, you can have the best hubby in the house award. I'm going to take a few minutes and put away this stuff and put away all our suitcases from our trip over a month ago. Sure it won't take long. chatting to you oh, I've cleaned up still I meant to show you and I forgot oh dear well, I did my bedroom I just did a quick clean I dusted this well I didn't teach you dust I cleaned surfaces with my co spray and then I vacuumed in the bedroom bathroom I did the vanity the toilet and vacuumed the ensuite floor and the wardrobe the shower screen is nearly a scrub but I didn't do that I'm not really up to that yet I don't think but that'll wait anyway Maybe I'll take the Enyo cloth up and do that over the weekend. And then, as you saw, I did do out in the 
the hallway up there, which is one of my jobs. Three, I tried to pick three jobs that are essentials. Walk, already done, and I've already wanted to clean up that um, hallway up there, so that's all done. I think the third thing was make dinner. But now I'm gonna have my breakfast. <laughs> there is a live chat thing I think I wanna join. And I'm still on my list. I think it's made the kitchen stuff now. I mean, I've got the air conditioning on and I'm still sweaty, sweaty. But anyway, life in summer when you've got fibro and take medication that causes sweating. Good fun. Anyway, I've got my overnight oats I made yesterday. And yeah, I threw a lot of towels in from the bathroom and our floor mats as well. I did all that. So at least, yeah, it's had, it's had a clean. It's had a bit of a, a bit of love thrown at it. So it wasn't too bad. Because I did it, I don't know, a week or two ago, probably two weeks ago. Don't remember now, but anyway. <laughs> right, I'll chat with you later on. Oh, I meant to say, I didn't have much of a shower. We've got no water pressure. And it was a, I couldn't get it warm. So it was quite cool. So I just had a quick wash. I do maybe plan to have a swim later on, but I had a really, really super quick wash. I didn't even get under the spray properly because there was no pressure. There was a dribble of water coming out pretty much. I just put the, refill the kettle and I was saying. So I don't know, I've seen mum and dad got water pressure. My kids this us or they've got it too. I'll text them and find out. Feeling pretty lazy today, but I have done a lot of stuff, I guess. I walked the dogs and I did upstairs, so I sure don't feel too lazy. One more of my three things to do and that's make dinner. So I'm gonna get that done now. I've half done it because I've already cooked the corn in the air fryer. And it's just, I uh, need to make a sauce in the food, in the blender and slice up some potatoes. I think it's pretty easy to put together. It's just a potato bake kind of thing, vegan potato bake. I think it's called street, street corn potato bake or something. I don't know, I can link the recipe below. It's really nice, we have it quite often. And it will do, it does four portions. So Kevin and I'll have this for two nights. So that's nice. I like those. We've got a lot of recipes like that now and they work really well. Like we won't have it two nights in a row. We'll have it leave two, one or two nights in between having it. So it seems to work well. Certainly well as far as doing stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. And we can see Chewy behind me has a sock on because he's got a hot spot at the moment. So just take this and look at it and make it worse. It's not too bad. In a day or two wearing the sock and it'll probably be quite fine. And Coda's due to have his surgery tomorrow. I can't even mention he's walking so well now. So we're gonna try and chat with the vet and see how critical is it for him to be done tomorrow. Um, ideally, I'd like to put it off until May so he can have his summer have his fun in the pool, have our trip to um, Charleville, and then have it done in the winter. But if it could get worse and he end up in a lot of pain at any, like suddenly with that warning, which I think may be the case, then we'll just get it done. Because we can't afford to have that happen when we're up at Charleville. So, but it's such a shame because as you guys know, he loves swimming so much. And he's doing so well. I walked in this morning and he didn't limp at all. He was walking really nicely. I mean, you can see his gait's a bit weird, but you know, it's because he does have an issue. Um, but he didn't um, be defensive with other dogs that we saw, which he usually is. So he mustn't have been, he mustn't have been feeling good because usually he gets quite defensive when you see the dog, even if it's across the road, he'll bark and lunge sort of thing. And maybe a growl, I can't, not sure now, but he certainly sounds, <laughs> Sounds aggressive, but he's just being defensive. That's how I would describe it anyway. And we saw two different dogs today, different times, and they were lunging to get to the dogs, but there was no verbal interaction on from my dog. So there was no barking, there was no grumbling. So I think it's what they wanted to go and say hello, but I didn't know, so I wasn't going to let that happen. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. So I've done their dinner. I'm gonna get yeah, finish up mine. Oh, I think, I don't know, sorry, I'm all over the place again, as I often am. Since I'm having potatoes for dinner, I won't do potatoes for lunch. I think I'll just make a nice wrap for lunch. I'm also quite full. I had some, I don't know if I filmed it, when I was on that uh, the live Zoom thing, 
I came in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't think I haven't filmed or told you about that. I came in the kitchen and I chopped up some crudités or some vegetables to with um dip on my hummus. I've got some dip from the weekend, so I'll finish that off. Maybe it's a dip that makes me feel very full, but I am feeling really full still <laughs> from that. Um, Anyway, get to the mood. Maybe get my overnight oats done. We'll see. I, I don't. I'm just. I'm tired now, and I don't feel like doing anything else. But get dinner sorted, and then some say we'll do the overnight oats. Got to do one then for tomorrow morning, and then I'll see. I'm still working on the video, and I've got some photo books, scrapbook albums to put together. I was trying a program which I thought would like view, you could view them like the photo book, but it doesn't work like that. When you download it, they come as each individual photo. So not in the double layout kind of thing, which for scrapbooking, sometimes it's a single, sometimes it's a double layout. So I wanted to show the double layouts together rather than on separate pages or separate shots. So I'm going to go back and put them all into YouTube, which is what I was doing before, like my Final Cut Pro to make a video. Yeah, so Final Cut Pro to make the video. And then... Yeah, so I can just leave them there or kind of export them for myself to use. Yeah, don't need to put them on YouTube. But I wondered, you seem to really enjoy my wedding and honeymoon scrapbook album. Would you like to see some other ones? So I've just done, I've done a few Disney holidays and I've just done my 2003 family album. So let me know if you want to, I can then share it on YouTube as well. But yeah, this can be the best way to do it. It's not too hard. The other Canva thing was easier, but doesn't allow me to view it in the format that I want to. So, and you can't put music to it either. So it's nice to have all that sort of kind of done in Final Cut Pro, and then I'll just save it on our wherever we save it in the cloud. <laughs> but as I said, if you guys want to see it, I can put it on YouTube as well. Um, all right, let's get dinner made. I have to say, it's much nicer to coming here to work with the desk all cleared off so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start work on these scrapbook albums so that I can get there get that area cleared off and then we can move into the other areas which are downstairs and upstairs someone has gotten the hang of fetch but we're gonna try and have our dinner now <laughs> Good morning everyone, just out for our walk. Well, it's just me and Chewy today because Coda's gone off for his surgery. We took him in to get him assessed and the vet's recommended going ahead with it. So one of his knees definitely is done. So even though he seems so good to us, that's what we wanted. So anyway, he gets it done, but the surgery's not going to be as serious as his last surgery. So that's good, his recovery should be a bit better. Poor little fella. Anyway. So I get this one out for a walk, it's going to be pretty hot. It's going to keep getting hotter. I'm always walking all on the edge like this. You must like it. I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> Funny boy. Eleven in the morning. I've had a few loads of washing to do today. I washed, we washed our bedding. Sheets are already hanging out, and that's my summer beds for it's still in the washing at the moment. Did some hand washing. Had my shower. It did obviously take a while to cool down after 
after a walk. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that now. Kevin just heard from the vets that Coda's getting both his legs done. Poor little fella. I've, I didn't sleep the best last night. Well, whenever I wake up, I'll be thinking of him and thinking it's so sad because I don't know if I filmed last night, but he was just having the best time playing fetch with his ball. He was so happy. He played fetch for like an hour and a half last night. <laughs> like, it just seemed so odd. He had a walk, he was playing, just like living his best life. <laughs> oh well, hopefully, in the long run, it's well, in the long run, it'll be for the best. We have better legs and be in less pain. But now it's going to be very hard to swim. I'm going to try and get for a swim this afternoon with Kevin because once he's home, I think, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to go because I still want to enjoy the pool because our last summer having our own private pool, we'll still have access to a pool because our apartment has one, but we won't have our own pool. We quite, and I don't think Coda will be able to go in the pool, so, but he's probably missed out now anyway. We might get a little bit when he's recovered, depending how long he can't swim for. I'm saying, I'm sure he's a bit lost without him today. But I've just said I've got to go hang out my quilt. But I'm going to, I might put it in the back because I should get the sun in the summer, I think, out there. Or I don't usually hang things. I'll grab some pegs and take them out with me. Actually, I've just seen we've got a nice breeze now, so I'll just put them around the side. Throw everything out together. You see how much I've got today? I've got, oh, I just crashed into a table. Ouch. <laughs> I've got the sheets there. They're still in the shade, but they'll be. And dry and both the little rolly trolleys are in. But what a beautiful day. I want to get out there. I was even thinking, I might try and do the floor. This is going to be hard work still with this <laughs> injured um, muscle. So. so we'll see. But yeah, that's probably all dry already. Especially with that, there's a nice little breeze picked up. After that, I'm going to deal with those towels. Disney vlog up to the 17th now. Hmm, it's also got a good week to go. Goodness. Anyway, these are some memories, and this is one where Christy went to Animal Kingdom when we were doing our monorail hop, monorail resort hop. And um, so, lots of stuff I haven't seen. I haven't seen all her video of experience at the Animal Kingdom yet. So, that's been quite nice to watch. But it's a uh, Five to two, so I think I better get myself some lunch sorted and prep what I can for dinner. I've decided I'm going to do a burrito bowl for dinner. It's nice and easy. I just got to cook the rice, but I need to chop up some, you know, some stuff to put in it. I think I've already got some marinated tofu, so I'll check on that. Make sure I know what I'm doing, and um, I could probably make the sauce now. Or at least get everything ready for it. So I'll do that and. I'm going to cook some eggs for Chewy for his dinner tonight so he can have a special dinner since he's all by himself. Here's my stuff for dinner. I've cooked the brown rice, air fry, uh, tofu, and then we've got those things to go with it as well. And I've got to make up the peanut sauce, but I'll do that near the time. I just finished working on these videos. I was going to work on my scrapbook video, scrapbook layout video. No, I'm not going to now. I'll finish for the moment anyway. Ah, oh, it took me a long time to do that video to edit. I was working on the 17th of December. But in amongst that, I discovered I was missing about 10 minutes of video that Christy had filmed on the 16th in the evening. I don't know why it wasn't in the right section. I probably downloaded that over there. And then when I've downloaded the rest of the videos, they've gone on to the Australian time. So everything's a bit mucked up. But I can usually work it out, but I've missed that. So I was thinking it wasn't something I knew to look for. I miss it. But I found it now. So I'm going to re-upload the 16th. Because it is, I think it was only a 20-minute video. And now it's a 30-minute video. So 
it doesn't matter, just periodically watch it when I go to rewatch them one day, it'll be there. And it was actually quite cool because she'd filmed some of the Epcot ball at night, which I hadn't seen. We saw it from a distance, that was all we saw it from. And she also spotted the fireworks were going off when she was coming via the Magic Kingdom on the monorail. So that was pretty cool to see. <laughs> so yeah, so it's up just re-uploading again. I am going to go, I probably should bring in the washing. I'll do that first. Then I'm going to work on my jigsaw puzzle and took, no, actually I'm not. I'm going to go work on my, yep. Let me go and do the washing first. <laughs> I'll do the washing first. Then I'm going to work on my jigsaw puzzle. I'm just thinking Kevin could be home any moment. I usually get home around at 5 and it's 4.30, but I'll get that washing brought in. Dinner sorted. I'm going to go for a swim when he gets home. So we can use that pool. And it'll probably nice just to have some one-on-one -on -one time with Kino in the pool as well. And gives him a bit more of a, a fun afternoon. He's been good. He's just lying here on the car, but it's very, very warm today. If I was probably trying to do anything, I might have to put the aircon on. But I've been okay sitting in front of the fan. And I think it is cooling down a little bit now. But, all right. I'm going to drag myself off this couch. Do I need some more water? Oh, no, I've still got plenty of water. I might add, just add some ice cubes and make it nice and cold again. But yeah, I'm going to be not washing it. There's just so much of it. So tonight's dinner is a Buddha bowl. <laughs> so I've got some rice. Um, air fried tofu, carrot, purple cabbage, and lots of lettuce. And the peanut sauce. And no coda beer. And no coda beer. And Ke Chewy is having his peanut butter corn frozen. Over. I just saw we're doing a new stocking and saw my old stocking on the floor there. Must have dropped it on the way upstairs and I took my some of the things up. Anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast now. Little Coda should be home very soon. So yeah, I think I told you guys he had both legs done. Poor little fella. Because I wanted to get vacuumed in here earlier and I just moved his bed out like from where my feet go. I usually lies. Hopefully he will be comfortable there. We'll see. All the um, gates are in place. I've got the ones that Kevin bought for camping. But I usually have chairs here. This is pretty ugly. I think I might put my chairs back down there like I had. And the, the other one borrowed from Nan and Pop. They have that when the dogs are staying at their place. So mum can go in the kitchen and keep the puppies out. And I've got another one over there. So if I come into the kitchen, I can at least confine him to the kitchen. So that should work. And if I go in to do some jigsaw or whatever, I can, I can just close the doors or move that gate across to that area. Worst part is it's just swimming time. I don't know how long he can't swim for, so. Well, I think, I think he's home now. Oh, this is my little boy. <laughs> he should be short, he cried the whole way. No. No, don't jump up. Don't jump up. Another sad cry. Can just put him on his bed. Poor puppy. Tina, no. Bed's already for him. Oh, Tina, you're okay. Why not? Why not? Why not? Tina, you're okay. Hello, darling. Sweetie pie. I know, it's your brother. I know. <laughs> Chewy, stop choking. So you can snip him? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. You can knock everything over. You're not supposed to be walking around too much, mate. Come on, lie down there. Down. Good boy. Good boy, Kina. I've got to say hello first. Poor little puppy's not happy because Chewie's just gone outside, so he's extra unhappy. Coda bear. I mean, yeah, Coda. Coda. Come back over here. Come on, go lie down. Lie down on a belly bye. You've got three to choose from, or we can choose the floor. Whatever makes you happy, sweetie. Mm. Oh, sad boy. Christy was caught. Oh, my goodness. Poor puppy. Oh, 
Christy was kind enough to sit with him while I went and got my breakfast organised. So I had out the overnight oats I was going to have and Kevin packed them to take to work while he was home because I hadn't got around doing his lunch yet. So that's fine. I just got a veggie patty, the rice and beans, I think it is, rice and lentils. Rice and beans, I think. It's one of the Cindy ones that I like. Just put that on a wrap. And of course, I have my cup of tea. And I'll be pretty much spending today in here with him. Then we've got to ice his legs at times and things like that. I was just reading his instructions. But yeah, we'll have a quiet day in here today. And luckily, Kevin will be home the next three days to help me out so that someone's with him all the time. So we've got the thing there and the, the chairs are lying down over there as you can see this one just flies over them that's fine I wonder what's happened to your brother what happened to your brother poor Coda Bear he's your comfort mate we took him to the vet and they thought that was a bit strange but anyway he needs a comfort doesn't he excuse me it's my breakfast poor little bear I'm so glad I got for that walk earlier because I am so fibro sore now. My legs and, and arms are just so sore. <sighs> it's a warm one, but I'm sitting in air conditioning. <laughs> but my body still seems to know when it's warm. I've also got a fan on as well. I should be quite comfortable. Well, I am quite comfortable. But my body reminds me. It just does what it wants. <laughs> just been sitting on the couch here with my little papa. Poor little babe. He seems happy enough to lie here though. I will put him up here. Mum, mum and dad came over to see how he was. And I lifted him up here so he could lie down beside mum and have some pats. And it's been here since, which is a few hours ago now. Oh, I just spent far too long finding a new theme. I think that's what it's called for my blog, which I don't even update except for on my holidays, and I'm pretty sure no one reads anymore. But it, the theme that I had been using was broken, so I had to find a new one, and that just always takes so long. So I'm not even excited about the one I've got, but it'll do, because I said I don't think anyone even reads it. And I've pretty much decided for my next holiday, I think I'm still going to write out the blog post, and I'll probably put it on my blog. But I'm not going to put photos and stuff in it because that takes a lot of time. And yeah, that just took a lot of time on the holidays. I think I could just write out like a, a travel diary entry thing. Like in the old days, I would write it in a travel journal. Um, my writing is so messy these days. <laughs> so it's best to type it up. So I'll probably just put it into my blog post. And then that's that. Sorry, my. It's hot. Even sitting here under the air conditioning with two fans on. Well, I'll just put them on and tie my hair back because it's really warm. Anyway, I'm just going to have my lunch. I just pulled out some vegan sausage rolls. The little Linda McCartney ones that are in the freezer. Not the healthiest lunch, but I don't feel like potatoes again. And I probably should have done potatoes, but I don't feel like having them again today. I had them yesterday. Don't have enough stuff to make up a salad. Pretty much out of lettuce. So, I don't know why I didn't get a lettuce this week. I think because I bought a butter lettuce on the weekend sometime. On Saturday, I think, I bought a butter lettuce. Friday? Friday, probably. So, yeah, that's a week. There's not much left of it. <laughs> and I didn't want to leave him in here too long by himself, even though he seems fairly settled. Just as I finished being ready, I did hear him do a little cry whimper that he does. He said, I'm in pain whimper. I think that's what it is anyway. So it might have been I'm, I'm unhappy i'm sad and feeling sorry for myself i'm in here by myself it's choosing with me so i didn't want to leave him any longer all right i'm gonna have that and i think i'm gonna try and i think the blog post is done it's fine i'm gonna move on to working on another video i think i might watch a vlog watch something on youtube while i eat my lunch and then i'll get stuck into doing another disney video because after the videos comes the photo books and I've still got to do, actually that's what I need to do as well. Before I move on to my new Disney video, I think I'll try and finish off a scanned one. And 
I think I might move in there later on and do some jigsaw puzzle and some scanning because he seems to be settled. If I put him on the couch, I think he'd be okay. I can close the room off so that he can't run amok. But yeah, I think that might be okay. We'll see. See how I'm going, or I can leave it to tomorrow. So I'm heating up some dinner for myself. I'm having a result or half of the potato bake left over another day. Kevin wants to have his birthday cake for dinner. I got this given this from a friend at work. So someone else would like some too. How fancy is it though? I don't even know what kind of cake it is. It looks fancy. out to the van to do some work and somebody's not very happy about that situation are you you want your daddy back it's actually Kev's birthday today I guess you're making some pancakes for breakfast I don't didn't think to take a photo and I don't always do presents but I did get him a new lunch bag <laughs> just for he needs one and there's some just for a bit of fun there are some treats in there for him as well we've got some macadamia shortbread some ginger cookies and some of these, what are they called? Citrus rock candy. Yeah, so the bag is um, by a company called Wellroy, the ethical brand. And it's made from recycled materials and no leather. So hopefully the boys' lunch will fit in there quite nicely. It feels nice. He was seem quite happy with it anyway. <laughs> what do you think? It's such a beautiful day out there. It's such a shame we can't have to stay inside with, with Coda. As you can see, there's a really nice breeze out there today. It's beautiful. Perfect temperature. It's a shame we can't really be out there. What? I don't know. I don't know how Coda would cope. <laughs> Might try later on. So I washed our um, bedding for our van today. I don't think I've even picked up the camera today. I don't think. You like your mummy talk, Coda. I'm just lying here on the couch. In front of well, Kevin was here. But Kevin's just gone out to the his van to put something away. So obviously had a very lazy day just looking after this one. And it's Kevin's birthday. Oh, I did show you his presents earlier. Well, yeah, two little presents that he got. So yeah, I made him. Christy made him pancakes for his birthday for breakfast. Then I just had overnight oats. And then for lunch, I made him a Bangkok special, which is just egg and cheese sandwich, toasted sandwich kind of thing. And what did I have for lunch? Oh, I had a falafel wrap and I made dinner. I made carb mushroom carbonara sauce, but now he's having pizza. So I'm going to have the last of the potato dish that I made the other night and maybe some air fried beans. And then we'll have the mushroom carbonara for dinner tomorrow night. I'm just watching a movie called The Swimmers at the moment about the Syrian refugee two sisters who, well, at least haven't finished, we haven't finished it yet, but at least one of them swims in the Olympics, I believe. <laughs> So, kind of a sad show, but, you know, Coda, stay here. Daddy will be back. I think these are good to watch these movies. They just, you know, reminds you how lucky you are. such a good morning actually. Feeling very fibroy today. Uh, really very sore all over. Hence still sitting on the couch. Uh, Kevin has gone to Bunnings to buy something for the van, I think. I'm sure he's buying. And then he's going to come back home and Code has got his vet appointment to take his bandages off and I guess check up on him. I think Kevin wanted me to go with him, but I don't think I'm up to it. If he wants me to go, I will just make it for the car ride, I guess. Could do that. Do I need to shower at some stage or bath because I want to wash my hair? Again, I could do that when I come back. I have ordered some groceries because I could do that online. Kevin will pick them up later. Pro I, know, I was going to do a Harris Farm fruit and veg order because I've been really impressed with their fruit and veg, but I didn't need a lot this week. So I've got some stuff from the supermarket and then if I need to do like the end of the week, do a Harris Farm one, I'll do one then. So 
that should work out. Wish I felt better. Uh, so I need to get Chewy out in a walk, but Kevin's got all these things to run around and do. So I've asked Dad, well, I, I said, thought maybe Dad, because Dad enjoyed walking the dogs and he's missed it. So I thought, well, I'll ask Dad if he'd like to take Chewy on a walk. And he said, yes, he'll do that. So that'll be good. That'll be nice for both of them. I still can't wait to move and it's just like I can do it because here we're on a hill. So whichever way we go, we've got to go up or down a hill, which just makes it that bit harder than if you could walk out on flat. So when we move, if I'm having a bad day, I like to just take the lift down, just do a little walk around the block or whatever and have a nice little time or drive them to the nearby dog park. That was the other option today. but. It's, hard, it's really hard to make with Coda because we just don't want to upset Coda, trying to keep him as happy as we can and comfortable. But Kevin said, Shall we come with Chewy in for a swim? Like Chewy was looking for a swim yesterday, which was cute because he'd been in a few days. He was looking for a swim in a few days. I mean, Coda can't swim, I think, for 10 to 12 days until he gets his stitches out. So he's still got a bit of time before he can swim. but. We might have to take him, when he's a bit better, he's still very, we're still trying to keep him very confined and very quiet. But when he does start to feel better, he's starting to move around more. We could probably take him over to mum's for a little visit. Still can't do fetch or anything like that, but he could have a little visit and then we could maybe take Chewy in the pool. Try and sneak him in for a swim. <laughs> I don't know what would work. I miss going in for a swim. So yesterday and the day before had just been perfect swimming days, but what a little baby to, to think of. He does have the cone on now, so that because he had two little spots he was licking, so we put the cone on him to make not, so that didn't get worse and get infected. <sighs> anyway, sort of check in. I was just watching a vlog, I thought, oh, I probably should do a check in on my own vlog because, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think much is going to be happening today. It's such a shame we can't swim because <laughs> it's just like beautiful weather and the markets are on today. I think we're gonna see how he is fair. I think it's just too soon. And we said we said that we'll just wait. The markets are gonna be on monthly again now down at Shell Cove, so we'll just we'll go next month. Uh, we want once he's probably four to six weeks when he's starting to recover and build up. We need to sort of get on with getting them very used to being out and about with other people and other dogs and just behaving well before we do the childhood trip. Has been kind enough to take the puppies on a walk. Where's your other red thing? What's the red thing? It's an extension. Only nice for you to go out, maybe, won't it? I'm sadly very fibrosaur. Thank you, and I have a breakfast. So we've tried to recreate it at Oliver's, but I forgot to order brioche buns. I, I don't know. I meant to. But I forgot. So we've just used our Turkish bread. We've used sweet potato hash browns. Got some vegan mayonnaise, a bit of relish, tomato and spinach. So obviously it's open since it's not a uh, bun. How is it? No. It's good. How's it compared to Oliver's? Probably just as good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 